Welcome back. If you're looking for some form of at-home escapism right now, or simply a way to elevate your every day, our next guest suggests that embracing slow beauty is one way to do just that. So here to explain what slow beauty is all about and to highlight some of her favorite products is green beauty expert, Michelle Bilodeau. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Michelle, I've heard of other slow movements like the slow food movement, but this is the first time I'm hearing about slow beauty. Can you kind of explain the idea behind it for us? Yeah, it's very similar. It's, you know, slow beauty is just a philosophy of going back to sustainable, intelligent ingredients, uh, simple products. Some of them are made in small batches. So it's just this idea of having a little bit of luxury time for yourself at home, but pairing things back at the same time. I love that idea. I love like all the slow movement, slow food, slow sex, so slow beauty, why not? And you're starting with this product that is actually a face mist, which I feel like yeah. is the best way to start your day. Yeah. Uh, tell us why this made your list. So I love this one. So this is from Maison Jacinthe, which is a brand coming out of Montreal. Um, they're an all natural brand. Most of their ingredients are 100% organic. And this one is especially so because it literally contains one ingredient. So this is just uh, Bulgarian rose water. And rose water is really great because it brightens and it tightens and it hydrates. You can use this as a set for your makeup. Um, throughout the day, like Cynthia's doing right now, just to kind of add a bit of a refresher to your day. I also like to use this to help increase the absorption of any of my face oils. So I put on a night cream at night, um, and then I sit down in bed to read my book, and I do a little spritz, and then I put a face oil on over top to really kind of get that to soak in. Ooh, that Love sounds it. really, really nice. It's like breathing in a bouquet of flowers, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're really going back to basics with the next product, we're going back to a bar of soap, specifically a facial yeah. bar of soap. Can you tell us about yeah. this one? Yeah, so this is a brand out of Squamish, BC. It's called Squalwin. The founder is actually an ethnobotanist, so she really knows about ingredients. And yeah, we would kind of assume that a facial bar would be drying and would strip the skin. But this facial bar contains cranberry uh, powder, um, French oh. pink clay, and a couple of really other hydrating like oil ingredients. It smells delicious, and it leaves the skin feeling really soft uh, and nourished. It doesn't feel stripped at all. Um, um, so yeah, it's definitely one of my new favorites. I love it. So facial bars, like, is this good enough to remove makeup uh, or would it like work with like heavy makeup or just a bit of light makeup removal? So I tested this out myself last week with just kind of a light makeup and all of my makeup came off really, really easily. I would just say you'd have to do uh, eye makeup remover because the brand does suggest not to use it around your eyes. Um, but for me personally, if I'm wearing heavy makeup, I always do an oil cleanse anyway, and then I would follow up with this bar soap. That's great. This next product sounds really interesting. It is a powder in oil formula that turns into a hydrating serum. How does it work? So I love this brand. This is called Anhydrous, which literally means without water. So if you shake it up, you can see the yeah, formula see, kind like, of mixes like all layer. together. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is really awesome. So this is actually three months worth of skincare in one little Whoa. bowl. Um, and what's great about it, obviously it cuts down on water consumption. It cuts down on packaging waste and the, the bottle is glass, so it can be recycled. And this one, all you got to do is drop maybe four drops in your hand. And if you want, you can add a little bit of water and it just creates this like silky serum that you can just mix in your hands and just press into your face. So I would use this uh, directly after cleansing, um, and it's a really, really hydrating uh, hyaluronic formula. It smells like eucalyptus, which I adore. Me yeah. too. That's why I want to put it on before bed and when I wake up. Can I do that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, this is good. What I also really love about Anhydra is they just released a bunch of at-home mask recipes that you can do. And one of my favorites is called the Skin Soother. And it contains this hyaluronic hydrator, collodial oatmeal, and agave. So you just mix that up, put it on your face, I think for about 15 minutes. And my skin felt really, really hydrated and was super glowy for a couple of days after. Michelle, you've got a, a multitasking serum to share with us. Tell us all about it. 
So this is uh, Luna Nectar's Heliophilia Facial Serum. They're a Vancouver-based brand, and Heliophilia actually stands for Sun Lover. It can be used as aftercare. Um, it can be used on the ends of your hair if you want, um, but this is a really, really great facial oil as well. So it contains a lot of hydrating ingredients. It has sea buckthorn in it, which we know has a high concentration of vitamin C. So this will really help to brighten any dark spots that you might have and also also add a little bit of a glow to the skin. Oh, I love it. Ooh, Me too. For, like oh, for nice. anyone, and we're not getting enough sun. I do love the sun, but we're not getting enough of it. So this is a little bit of sunshine in a bottle. Okay, yeah, so let's, let's, a good one. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about some makeup now that falls under the slow beauty umbrella, starting with this mm -hmm. tinted moisturizer. Yeah, so this is from uh, Helena Lane, another brand out of Squamish, BC. And Helena Lane is a former chef uh, and a green beauty retailer. So she's got a really good handle on ingredients and green beauty. So she created this, it's a tinted moisturizer. She has two different shades, which you would think would be limiting, but it's actually not. So the one that you guys have is for lighter skin tones. Um, and then I have one that's called bronze, which is for darker skin tones. So it contains mica. So it gives a nice sheen to the skin. And this is a moisturizer. So you put this on after your serum in the morning. It also does contain zinc oxide, which can be helpful protecting against UV damage. But I would still suggest putting an SPF on. This is like butter. Yeah. And it's got a nice like shininess to it, HF. Yeah. Like just a little bit. Yeah, look at it. But it absorbs well. So next up, you've brought us some lip glosses. Tell us about these. Yeah. So these are brand new from TOK or Talk Beauty. They're a Toronto-based brand. And what I really love about this brand is very thoughtful, clean ingredients. Everything's vegan. And she's also very minimal on the packaging. So it literally just comes in this box. And the ingredients are super, super hydrating mm. for, a, for a lip gloss. So she calls it a lip tonic. So it's a bit different, but it's super hydrating. They have four shades and I love the shade Rise. Um, it's a really nice pop of color that I would put on just for a Zoom meeting or even just to go outside for a walk uh, with my daughter just to add a little something to my look, you know? I, I like this one. It's called Inspire. Isn't it nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put the Inspire yeah, on beautiful. too. And you know what I like about this too? I love a little multitask because I feel like you could also take this and just kind of... Yeah, put yeah. it anywhere you want. Did I overdo yeah, that? Yeah, 100%. Do I look like I've just been outside in the in the cold? <laughs> That's okay. Um, okay, so moving on to some slow beauty uh, care, body care, because I think that that's a huge mm -hmm. part of this movement. Um, there's a particular scrub yeah. that you really, really like. Tell us about it. Yeah. So this is Moment Beauty, and my best friend actually got me onto this brand, which is really funny. This is the pink Himalayan sea salt scrub. So it's really fine pink Himalayan sea salt. So it'll really help kind of sloth off any dry dead skin cells that you have. And then there's a lot of really nourishing oils in there. So there's coconut oil, there's sweet almond oil. Um, so you know, just after the shower, just kind of slather it all over and your skin will be super hydrated afterward. These are all made, uh, handmade in small batches in Toronto. Um, and because everything is organic, you would have to use this product within two months of getting it. So, I mean, scheduling okay. a once a week shower with a body scrub is not a terrible thing to do. Yeah. Sign me up. <laughs> hey, listen, my, my skin is so thirsty right now. And so I'm very excited about this uh, body cream, this moisturizer. Tell mm -hmm. us about this one. Yeah. So this is a brand called Carite and they source all of their ingredients from women led co-ops in Ghana. So shea butter, coconut oil. It's super, super hydrating, which is fantastic, especially right now in the winter. But this is a multitasker. So anywhere from the shoulders, neck down, this can go. So heels, dry elbows, hands, uh, all over your body. And the brand suggests to put this on directly after the shower. Um, and if you really have parched, parched skin because of the elements outside, um, you can actually use it twice a day as well. Wow. Michelle, you're amazing. These are all such great products. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. We're going to be right back. 